Welcome to the Biz Bash podcast, where we make biz strategy a piece of cake. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Cammie, but you might know us better as Eliza and Calligraphy and Cammie Monet. We want to help you, our fellow stationers, artists, and calligraphers, confidently build a profitable and personality-driven creative biz. We're here to share our honest-to-goodness advice and actionable strategies for ambitious artists. So put on your party hat, quit being a procrastinator gator, and let's get this party started. Deck the halls with bells of holly. <laughs> All right, now that everyone's had their ears blown oh, out by Cammy, I really wanted to do that good, but if I tried to do it good, then it would have been... You, you know, sometimes you got to sing bad, so then people can't make fun of how bad you are. So now that we're here getting ready to deck the halls in episode 38, we are talking about 10 ways to get your shop ready for the holidays. I just, I love this part of the year because it's like, literally I'm clenching my fist, you guys right now. Like, I'm just like, yeah, Um, it's just so fun um, getting everything ready for Christmas orders. This is just like, it's like the Super Bowl for shop owners. So we're going to be talking about the best ways to leverage your time and your traffic so you can maximize those holiday sales. And in the year with a bang. So, um, yeah. The, yeah. Bring so, it. <laughs> um, so, the big key here throughout all these is really just to plan ahead. So, I just want that to be like in the back of your mind is to plan ahead because take it from someone who waits the last minute that it is not a good idea to wait till the last minute when it comes to the holidays because it really does just like skyrocket. I was so. like, yeah, that's the teapot calling the tea kettle black oh, or whatever yeah. the saying is because I'm like, the kettle black. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, are you really? No, I'm just kidding. Um, you've gotten it. It's funny because like you even manage it, even though you're not, you know, like even though you don't plan super far ahead, you always manage to pull it together, which that alone is impressive. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't plan ahead. I have a, I think the thing is I like plan ahead in my head, <laughs> but it doesn't yeah. like. I don't have like it written down. I just know what I'm going to do. And then I just execute. But there's, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's yeah, so like w- when this year is your shop actually going to be ready for the holidays with like your new crusts and products? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then our point taken. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me actually look at the calendar. What day is it? So probably end of October should all okay. be ready. Um, that's the plan. That's good. Which I think a lot of people launch holiday stuff like really beginning of october like if you're really really planning ahead people are like painting things in july getting the artwork together producing things yeah. and like launching it in october i mean on the wholesale side of things you should be launching in like july yeah right so <laughs> if you are gonna I just do relaunch my last year's collection as this year's collection for wholesale that's kind of worked out <laughs> So, what oh, are these? That, yeah. that's nice yeah clever mm-hmm. so they're already kind of in place so it's just kind of like backtracked but um i don't think i'm gonna launch my new stuff and like till like mid-november i don't like to maybe november i don't know we'll figure that out guys i'm gonna plan ahead after this episode but don't listen to me just plan ahead <laughs> don't do what i do just do what i say um yeah and most of this episode is probably going to be some good insight from cammy because i don't really have a shop that i have to prep for the holidays <laughs> yeah is, and i love this nice <laughs> yeah it does get hectic so we're gonna go ahead and move through this list of my 10 points here on how to get ready so um number one obviously you want to go ahead and stock up on your products and supplies like right meow because there is literally nothing worse than getting orders in on like you know, December 1st, and you still need two weeks to get something processed, like it's just not going to work out. So I would just go ahead and order in bulk now, not even your products, but also your supplies too, Um, mailers, tissue paper, stickers, ribbon, whatever you're going to need, just go ahead and get it now and buy in bulk because you can use it later down the road, but at least you won't be running out. Right, exactly. Super smart to have all of that in order and to have some sort of like kind of shipping station set up too, like the way you have in your office cami, like the actual organization of that is so nice. So then you feel really prepared. It's like, not only do you have the supplies, but they're actually put where they need to be. So then when those orders start coming, you just go for it. You get them right out the door. Yeah, basically, I uh, my shipping, my little shipping station in my office is set up where like even Someone who could, someone can come in, like Alex, for instance, my husband can come in and help me package up orders and know where everything is. So it's like really easy to pass that task on to someone. Um, so having those things ready to go is crucial. Um, and if you're buying in bulk, you're also saving some money too. So it's a great way to just kind of like 
bite the bullet and go ahead and do it for the end of the year. I always just like buy a ton of stuff for the end of the year. I love it. Um, kind yeah. of restocking for next year too. Right. And this is your last chance to get those like business deductions in too. <laughs> like mm-hmm. it's always smart to think the last quarter of like, what could I spend money on now? You know, like maybe I need a little extra of this or extra of that so that when taxes come around, you have more expenses. <laughs> yes. Not n- Not to say you should go out of your way just to spend money, but to think of like, what could I pay for now to prep for 2020 and then get that like deduction on taxes? Oh, and this would be a great time. If you don't have one yet, you should totally get one. The Dymo label printer for your shipping labels will save you so much time. Oh my gosh. (laughs) And that could be another tax deduction. So there you go. (laughs) There you go. And I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of great deals on Black Friday anyways. Not that you want to wait that long, but I use mine all the time and I'm not even like really doing products but that alone just having that where I can't print a label and stick it on something it's way better than like printing it off the printer and doing the whole like cut it out and tape it and yeah. all that nonsense it's just, just like not worth my time it's really not <laughs> and they're like, they're like 100 bucks maybe or mm-hmm. are they more than that I'm not sure I think 100 mm-hmm. bucks ish yeah like between 100 and 160 <laughs> yeah yeah I think I got mine on black friday like um 3 years ago or something well worth it so okay so stocking up on all your products and supplies having those ready to go where everything just looks like Santa's workshop that's what you want so number two is to get all your assets together this is where I start to slack but um so that would be (laughs) your holiday images your ad copy your email copy banners for your shop any graphics for sales or giveaways photos you can eat that you're going to use for pitching to bloggers or gift guides all these imagery assets, um, you really need to have those as soon as possible, especially when it comes to those gift guides. And we'll talk more about that later. So you're able to have photos that are actually usable. Um, I use a lot of stock photos for my holiday images and I just swap in my products in there, which makes it really easy and really cohesive. But you know what drives me crazy about stock shops? A lot of times they don't release their holiday images until like the thick of holiday too, you know? Oh, no. Like, yeah, that's crazy to think about. Yeah, they're always like releasing them on Black Friday and stuff. And I'm like, well, by then it's too freaking late because I needed it like in September, really, if I was planning ahead. <laughs> right. So, um, so I don't know. They need to get on that. So I'm normally using last year's stuff that they did. It drives, it drives me crazy. Well, maybe you just need to the shops that you really love, the stock shops, you could say something like, hey, as a product person who's buying these from you, I'm actually really looking to buy them in September or October because maybe they just like don't have a clue, you know, yeah, maybe like they don't. Uh, the type of people that are shopping for those images or whatever. Like, honestly, anything holidays, though, needs to be. A, a thought process like way before that like it, it, it surprises me even that they don't i know it's, it's very, like November. very I mean, surprising like, it's after thanksgiving at that point what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> i know seriously so like have them ready to go um um so yeah and then writing your ad copy your email copy and obviously you'll know how to write that more once you decide on your sales and we'll talk about that but um, banners for your shop. I feel like I'm always doing these at the last minute, just whipping them up. So I, I would like them to be more thought out this year. And um, so that's a goal. Hopefully I get it. Uh, now that yeah, I've- you just need to like sit down for a day <laughs> and make a list of what you really need. I think that's the best place to start is mm-hmm. like, out of all these assets, what do I need? Okay, one for my Etsy shop, one for my website, like maybe you can use the same one for both even better. Like, To understand, like, truly what you need to kind of do, like, what's the word, Cami, when you do some kind of, like, survey? But it's a different word that I'm looking for. Um, You basically, like, look at your shop and and you determine, like, what do I need? Oh, I know the word you're looking for, but now I can't think of the word. Does it start with a C? No. Does it? Evaluation? No. (laughs) Evaluation is overdue. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds so serious, but... Sometimes it's like hard to dive in before you fully understand, uh, like some sort of like comprehensive review. Maybe that's what I'm, what I'm going for. If like, what do you need, and what do you make sure, want to make sure you have done before X date? You know, like right. maybe you like literally put it on your calendar, and you're like, okay, I need to have all of this done by the end of next week or whatever it may be. Yeah, exactly, and knowing exactly what you need because like 
with your, I need a different size for like my website, different size for Etsy and different size for fair and Facebook. And like, there's all different sizes. That's what drives you crazy. So <laughs> there's all different ones, but so getting those together um, ahead of time is just going to make you feel so much more prepared and being able to like pull together a marketing strategy. That's obviously more cohesive instead of just like slapping stuff on pictures. Um, Honestly, you're already two points in and I'm like already tired. And maybe that's like, (laughs) maybe that's because I just say lunch and I'm like feeling it. But I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's a lot of work. There's like a lot of strategy that goes into this. Like makes me thankful that I'm like not really doing it. (laughs) But you might be in the future. I might be. We will see. I still get all hung up on it all the time. I know. I know. (laughs) We'll see how you feel at the end of this episode. I know. We'll back I in. know. <laughs> okay. So number three, um, this is a big one, you guys, is to know your shipping cutoff and order cutoff dates and to remind your customers often and to stick by them because sometimes you want to be the nice person, but like literally it won't get there after a certain cutoff date. So um, I know you can you can pretty much Google shipping cutoff dates. Actually, I, I'll put this in the blog post if I remember, hopefully. <laughs> to, oh, um, I need to make a note. I need to note. write it down. Write it down. <laughs> we'll put the shipping cutoff dates for the first class mail, um, which is usually around December 9th. And then priority mail, which I think is like December 18th-ish. I don't know. They change every year. Um, priority mail, FedEx, like one day delivery. Like what are each qu- cutoff deadlines? And do you even offer priority mail in your business? Like can you turn around something where it's going to ship out in you know one day and you can mail it priority? So like also having your lead times in place of those shipping cutoffs, if that makes sense. You yeah, know? that makes sense. And I do have a question for you, Cammie. Yes. Like, once those shipping deadlines pass, like, what do you do when someone places an order? Are they notified? Like, hey, this doesn't go out till after Christmas. Do you close your shop? Like, what do you do about those people who, you know, like, aren't paying attention or hope that they'll be the exception? Yeah, literally on every one of my listings, I, I like do like a mad overhaul of everything. So it'll say like order by December 9th for guaranteed Christmas delivery. After this, it is not guaranteed. And if they place an order after that, like that's all I can do. And I put it on my checkout page as well. Um, probably would put it put it in the email follow up now that I'm thinking about it too. But you just have to remind them as much as possible. And I think people are are more aware of the shipping times during the holidays. And I, I without fail, you're going to get emails that say like, "Oh, I placed this order on December 10th, or anyway, I can still get it." And most of the time, this is the mugs that I drop ship, so I truly do not have control over when those ship. You know, right? Um, mm-hmm. So I just. So I'm like, no, I could get there. It might not. I'm going to do the best I can. I always say my production team is working on it, but I don't have a team. It's just my drop shipping company. (laughs) You're still um, kind of your team, though. Yeah, it's still kind of a team. Extended (laughs) team. Yeah. I mean, that's how I feel about my wax seals, too. It's the same type of situation. Yeah. Like when people follow up and ask, like, where are they? Or do you have shipping? And I'm like, I'm waiting on my team to, like, get back to me on this. Like, I refer to them in the same way. So, yeah. I mean, it's the best way to refer to. And I also have an option on Etsy where they can upgrade it to like a rush order and it's $50. And I've had a few people do that just for a mug, but (laughs) um, because then I'll I'll, um, that includes like the extra shipping costs and the rush fee costs, rush production costs. So I'll just have say like, yeah, if you want to expedite it where it's guaranteed, you need to purchase this extra one, not make it happen. But most of the time they're like, oh, it's okay. And that's all right. It's not a big deal if it gets here the day after, you know? Right. You gotta remember everything's not an emergency. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be okay if they don't get their smoky mug on Christmas Day. They're still gonna have a good Christmas. Yes. Um, so <clears throat> just like kind of give yourself grace and and you know if you treat your customers with kindness, they're gonna hopefully treat you back with kindness. So I just try to be extremely over the top nice in all my emails when, especially during the holidays. And we'll talk more about why on that um, coming up. Hey there, fellow stationers. Are you creating custom invitations and still sending a lackluster contract that's hacked together with Google searches and generic templates? We've got you. We've created a custom stationary contract written for stationers by stationers, and it is lawyer reviewed and approved. Hashtag legal rockstar. The custom stationary contract covers every stationary snafu, protects you and your client's interests, and sets up an expectation of professionalism. We've combined our previous contracts as well as years of experience to bring you a contract that covers your booty and your biz. So become a put together pro and breathe a sigh of relief knowing that you have a contract that is easy to understand and avoids confusing legal jargon. 
The custom stationery contract is only $227, which is half of what you'd expect to pay anywhere else, and it's written by two gals who have seen it all. Spoiler alert, it's us. It's time for you to do things right. Go to bizbirthdaybash.com forward slash contract to purchase and download your copy today. So yeah, shipping, cut off and order cut off dates. Go ahead and mark them now on your calendar. Count backwards a few days if you want to give yourself that grace period. If it, especially if you're doing like something that takes more time to put together, like prints for me, I can get those out the door the same day. Um, you know, but if it's something that's going to take more time, like maybe you're making something, then you want to have lead time on those dates. Um, and putting countdowns on your emails, those countdown reminders, and all over your website, all over your Instagram, just keep reminding your customers often. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the best policy. Is to just like put it out there as much as possible. And people will still miss it. Um, yeah, but will. at least you can say like you did your due diligence. So if they complain, you can be like, look, I'm so sorry, but I had it here, here and here like while you were checking out. Like, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Um, I, I've seen people on Etsy as well. They create like an extra drop down where it says like, I understand if I order after this day, I won't get it by Christmas. And they have to like select yes or no. Before they can That's even check really out. That's really clever. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, really clever. So they can't miss it. It's like instead of doing a quantity, you just make it one of the variables and you can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I also, I changed the lead times on Etsy for all my my mugs and tea towels to um, like a week instead of they're usually like three or four days. And I usually do it two, a week or two weeks just so they know like it's going to take a minute. Like, <laughs> Yeah, right. To, to get that stuff back. Um, are you ready to move on to number four? Yes. Um, okay. So for, well, I was going to introduce this Oh, yes. This one. Go ahead. I'm just, I am <laughs> going <Jeez>. for it. <laughs> <laughs> she did three in a row. I'm like, let me have a turn. <laughs> you can have a turn. <laughs> this will be a good one for you. <laughs> yeah. Because this one, it's like for custom work, obviously start selling now to avoid the last minute rush because you don't want to be working up till that very last second. Like you want to make sure you give yourself time to enjoy the holidays too. And so one thing that you can even try to do with your custom artwork is like have it shipped out by like the end of the second week of December and then you're like all right I'm like home free for like the last two weeks of December to enjoy the holidays and enjoy Christmas but that means you need to have a little bit of like earlier planning so one of the things that um, Cammie and I have done in the past is offer limit spots to encourage people to purchase earlier. So you open your spots like at a certain time. So say that's beginning of October and you're like, okay, you have until, oh, I don't know, like the second week of November to purchase your spot. And then it will be completed and shipped to you by such and such date in December, if that makes sense. Yeah. I just do like last year I did I'm only doing 10 pet portraits that are guaranteed for holiday orders. And if you don't order the first 10, they're gone. Like, that's it. I'm not adding on any other ones. And those went so fast. (laughs) Like, so I think I actually added on a few more. But you don't have to tell people that. You can, you know, take on 12 and just leave the spots at 10. But it was a great way to get those orders early. So I knew what to work on instead of like, you know, having those last minute ones come in the door where I need to be painting, you know, like Christmas Eve or whatever. (laughs) Is that something you're going to do again this year? Uh, yeah, I think I'm only going to do five. Okay. Yeah. Um, so can't handle any more. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. I just don't want to. So yeah, probably just do five. See how I feel. Um, yeah. You know, so. you could probably even like not do any, and I'm sure you would be fine. Yeah, it's just I, I people always want theirs around the holidays, so I feel like I got to. But like my first year of selling a Christmas and doing pet portraits. I, I literally was doing a pet portrait on like December 23rd for like someone to come pick up locally. And I was so mad. It was. <laughs> um, yeah. See, that's crazy. That's like the situation you want to avoid. That's why I'm like, have them all out the second week of December. And then you don't have anything to worry about. Like if yeah. you're doing custom stuff. It was like a, f- um, a family friend. They're like, oh, and I was like, oh my God. But I feel like I couldn't say no because it was a family friend. You know what I mean? So, oh. But now I would be like, nope. <laughs> Wait, um, do you do Christmas in Florida usually? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Pop comes down with your Yeah, mom. my parents come down. We have Christmas with Alex and I. Both of our families were all together. Okay. So oh, it's really so nice. nice. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. And we have Christmas dinner. We, we're having it probably at my house again this year. I like it. We got our, that big old table, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's really nice. So nice. All right. Yeah, you can go on to number five. <laughs> um, I don't oh. have to say this one. <laughs> okay. 
So um, yeah, number five is to give your customers extra attention and giftify your products. So this just, um, what I like to do is just maybe do like special holiday packaging or a special holiday note. Like it doesn't have to be over the top, you guys. You don't have to like gift wrap and do a really elaborate bow or anything like that. I just have little like Merry Christmas stickers that I use instead of my normal ones. And I'm probably going to do like little Christmas like inserts instead of my normal ones. Like it's nothing crazy at all. Um, you can, Or adding in gift tags or gift messages so they can ship those directly to the recipient. You can make those like as an add-on to the product so they can like use you as a drop shipper. People love that to save them time. Or even adding a gift wrap option if that's like something in your wheelhouse you like to do. I suck at wrapping gifts, so <laughs> not for me. <laughs> yeah. How would you implement that in the shop for them to be able to drop ship with a note? Like how does that, what does that look like on the back end? Um, on the back end, you would probably just have to create a like a variable listing form for it so they can just like type in their note, if that makes sense. Would that work in Etsy too? Um, on Etsy, yeah, you can do that on Etsy. People do that now where you can add a gift message. Okay, cool. So they just put in the customer's address. Like I still do that. I just they just get printed onto a little piece of paper. I don't write them um myself okay. or anything. So <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> But you can turn that on and off or at, on Etsy, like if you do custom gift messages. Okay. But yeah, I definitely get more of those around the holidays. So it's nice to just be able to print those out. <clears throat> Does it just print out with the receipt? Usually, um, there's or? like an option where you can either print the receipt or print like a one that's Order not sheet. like a, it's like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like not record. a receipt. Yeah, like a record. It just shows like the gift message basically. And I have like a coupon code for the next time they purchase and that's on there too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be anything crazy complicated. Right. Yeah. So just, I really like the Christmas stickers. I think it's a nice little touch. So making, just making it like a little bit festive for your customers. They definitely appreciate um, the extra touches you do during the holidays and it definitely gets noticed. And especially like I was talking about earlier with customer service, it gets bananas this time of year, you guys, as we all know, we're all like frazzled. Um, So just being extra kind to your customers and really hearing them out when they're like, I'm not going to get this in time. Like, you know, just like actually kind of leveling with them and being as kind as possible stands out so much. I've noticed, um, especially with through the holidays and gets them to be return customers and come back because you were able to treat them with extra kindness and respect throughout the season. Right. Because it's more than just like Amazon, like, you know, Mm -hmm. like they'll actually see that you put thought into it. Yeah, exactly. So this is like your time to shine. It's kind of like when things go wrong, you can like step in and be the hero and like, just be just be joyful. Just be like Santa Claus. That's what you got to do. Except Santa Claus is actually <laughs> terrifying, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> um, we'll, we just won't get into that at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All I'm saying is that Santa is an, is an anagram. Is an anagram? Is that the right word? Of Satan. And that's all we need to know. He's terrifying. Can't stand the guy. But. <laughs> I had no idea you felt this way. This is very I'm, funny. You didn't know I'm so scared of Santa? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it's probably come up in one conversation Never or another. Pop but threw me that amazing birthday party when I was a little kid, and he had this guy that he like picked out who had like the real beard, and like he got on the roof and everything, and he came in the door, and I like lost <laughs> it. Everyone else was like having the best time. I like did not come to my roof. We have it all on video. It's great. I have to find it. <laughs> oh gosh. I know you have so many funny stories. So I think at some point like my mind begins. Like if I have if I have a new cami story, then one gets pushed out. So yeah, there's too many. <laughs> <laughs> too many. Too many. Um Okay, so you have as number six, offer gift certificates as an option. Is this like a gift certificate to your shop or gift certificate for a certain product? Uh, it could be both. So right now I don't have like gift cards available for my shop. You have to like turn that on. I just haven't really gone down that path. Um, but I do the gift certificates for like a custom painting that I know I'm not going to be able to get done in time. Like somewhat like a pet portrait the, I I do sell a lot of pet portraits before the holidays. And if I'm like, you're not going to get it in time, here's a gift certificate to give to the person on Christmas day. So they know they're going to get one. I actually still have an order from last Christmas that they still haven't given me a photo for the pet portrait. She reached out like a few weeks ago. I was like, how long will it take? I was like, take just a few weeks once I get that photo. She's like, all right, I'll have it to you soon. And like, 
it's literally been almost a year now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, so they put it, did they pay the full price of a pet portrait up front? Uh, yeah, her, her sister bought it for her. And so she's like, I'm just waiting to get the perfect photo. And I'm like, well, don't wait too long. Your dog's going to die. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's just been a long time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so if her dog actually dies, Cammy, you're going to so feel sad. so bad. I know. He's not going to die. He's going to live a full, vibrant life forever. Um, <laughs> So with the gift certificates for the pet portraits, um, I offer those to be customized too, which is great. So it's like the super cute little pet portrait gift certificate. I write the dog's name on it and they can like write the person's um, name like to and from on there, which was a really big hit for me and like really made things less stressful to so I could still sell that product and not feel like I was turning someone away, but still having a solution. Right. So how many of those do you think you sold last year? And I think then I you, sold about... What, you did them in January? Yeah, because January is always a slower time anyway. So I think I sold about six, which was okay. great. So like once I went above like my 10 or actually like 10, 12, 15 that I took on, then I was able to sell those after and they got their gift, gift, gift certificate and it was just a lot easier on everybody. And they get their pet portrait in January. It's almost more fun to get that because then you get to look forward to it and like maybe watch the process on Instagram stories or whatnot. So um, I haven't had any complaints about the gift certificates as an option. I mean, I don't see why you would. Yeah. Like, I think though that you should implement some sort of like expiration. Like, because that's tough if if she hasn't come back till like a year later, you know? Like at one point, is it like no longer valid? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like well, they're, pay- they're already paid in full. Does right, mean- I get that. But you can still... Oh, but like, like if I don't get your photo within a year. Right, like then that person paid for the gift, but it doesn't have to be delivered. Like, because, okay, so think about it. Like if let's say like two years from now, right? You like finally get this photo, but you're no longer doing pet portraits. Like you have a kid or something else and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know. Like you can't let people just hold on to it forever. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could put an expiration date on there. I mean, I don't feel like I have like hundreds of these coming through the door or you know what I mean? Like this is one right. person and she's like a friend. So I'm not that worried about it. But yeah, like as my business grew, I think putting an expiration date on there was definitely a good idea. Because um, I did one recently where I did a gift certificate for a calligraphy workshop, like one on one. This guy wanted to give it to his wife. And I was like, sure, that's like a really cute idea. Here's a gift certificate. But there's definitely like a year from the purchase date, it expires. And then I just get to keep the like 150 bucks. Like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, I should put that as like a stipulation. I know. I think, it, I mean, I think it would be smart just because I don't think it's going to be very often where you have somebody like holding out that long. Most people like want their pet portrait, you know, they're going to like give you a picture. <laughs> but in the weird situations, which Actually, I think happens. I do have someone that ordered like three years ago and they, I think they forgot. <laughs> uh-huh. See, there you go. Like, so. and so that's a tricky thing too. Like, my dad's told me about this before that like the way that companies have to handle like gift certificates and money for services that aren't rendered yet is sometimes different. Obviously this isn't Mm -hmm. a big problem for you. You've only had a couple people do it, but I can't remember what his whole spiel was. (laughs) Yeah, no, but I mean, it's just like another way to cover your butt if something goes wrong. So it Mm -hmm. never hurts. And then of course, if you're like, well, I'll still honor it. Like you can make that decision too. So like, yeah, it's just an extra way of protection. So I think it's a great idea. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We've got on our gift certificate spiel. We can move on to number seven, which I will go ahead and introduce if that's okay. Yes. Like I said, Cammy made all the bullet points. So I'm just like piggybacking off what she says. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so number seven is take advantage of Black Friday through cyber money. Wow. Cyber money. Cyber Monday. Oh, okay. Oh we well, can gosh. save some money. All right. Just like Freudian slip there. Um <laughs> And any other sales weekends. And I agree with Cami on this one because she wrote a note about how we've kind of like seen two strategies, which is like avoiding these days entirely to try to make your shop stand out or going all in for those weekends. And for this year for Biz Birthday Bash, I mean, I've already told Cami, like, I want to go like all in for like Black Friday through Cyber Monday and like offer some really good deals. <laughs> yeah, I I personally like to go all in for these weekends. I mean, buyers are prepped. They're expecting these. And I mean, I know everyone's inbox is like Black Friday. Like it's just like 
crazy how many emails you get. And it does feel like you get lost among the noise. But I, I felt like I've had really good success doing these days. Um, I, I cannot speak to like avoiding the days where people are like, we're going to do a different day so you can spend time with your family on Black Friday. And I know a lot of st- shops try that, but I don't know if they've had success or not. Um, with trying that strategy, I do know that like the most money spent online is on Cyber Monday. So I think you'd be a fool to not take advantage of it. <laughs> like, yeah, um, I mean, I agree with that because like the older I've gotten, the more like the farther in advance, like Will and I plan for Black Friday. Like we have our short list this year of like the things we are going to buy. Like we're going to be out there buying stuff, you know, yeah. like people that's like some of people's traditions is they like do Black Friday as a family. So I don't see why you would like skip out on that opportunity like you said yeah um and then another strategy for this is i like to do a different type of sale each day whether it's like oh on this day it's 30 percent off art prints like selling just a different category or the next day free shipping on all mugs or like you, you know what i mean just like switching up the different sale so like maybe one of them appeals to a different type of buyer or they're waiting for the next one because they're like waiting for the sale on enamel pens or whatever um, so doing a different type of sale instead of just a flat, like free shipping all four days, I just feel like those don't get as much excitement. So keeping those like flash sales alive where they're like only 24 hours for this one, you know, we're really big on like the scarcity, <laughs> um, the scarcity sales tactic. It works really well, whether that's time or limited amounts, you know, like maybe I only have 10 of these limited edition Christmas prints, like get them now kind of thing. I love seeing your emails come through with like the different um, sales on them. It's really cute and clever that like each day has its designated thing. Yeah. It's like the only time I actually do okay with my email strategy. <laughs> I look, I, now I got Flowdesk. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. You know, I'm actually strongly considering switching Eliza and calligraphy to that. I, you know, I'm I don't gonna- Oh, I don't know if you'd like it. I re- I'm not sure. I'm trying because it doesn't have as much bells and whistles as like convert kit with well but you know i'm like stuff. thinking of like toning a lot of that stuff down though for eliza and calligraphy yeah then like as i go into like the rebrand and design and all that stuff that i'm gonna be doing in the new year that means like a lot of my extra stuff is kind of going away too so yeah then and it's also we have biz birthday bash for more like that kind of stuff you know mm-hmm. so yep well just do a free trial and see what you think plus they're always adding new stuff right now so yeah um but anyway, uh, Elizabeth got, told me all about Flowdesk, and I just like fell in love with it. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, I it's know. awesome. It's, it's freaking cute. It's gold. But I did see that there are um, there's a couple of people I'm subscribed to, obviously, that I get their emails, and one of them it's like this design pair. It's these two ladies, and I could tell based on how their emails were structured that they went from convert to emails to using Flowdesk emails to going back to convert kit emails and i like oh, emailed really? them and i was like hey i was like i know this is going to sound super creepy and weird but i like <laughs> noticed that you switched between these two platforms in your emails can you give me any insight why you did that and they actually said it's because like convert kit is better for like segmentations and the things yeah. that we're already kind of aware of right? right and that um also for like running Facebook ads, apparently it's a lot more like user friendly and conducive to that side of things, um, like marketing wise. So I was like, oh, good to know. Good to have all the insights. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why I, that's why I'm like, I know you love all those like things you can do. I don't even know what they are. I just know you like to do them. So <laughs> yeah, there's mainly just a lot of things automated now, which is so funny. I know this is like very tangential, but that's okay. <laughs> I had this lead inquire with me, and she was like, yeah, I just like really appreciated your like email series on like wedding etiquette and i was like what is she talking about like i literally forgot that i have my gosh yeah and she was like and in this email when you said blah 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 blah, and half of me was like girlfriend i don't even know i don't even know what i said (laughs) see it's just been like a long time since i've touched any of that stuff so i think it needs to be like revived a little bit anyways and I don't know. I don't know, guys. Just Blah. find an email marketing thing that works for you and and promote the crap out of your stuff using it. Yeah, and if you use code Cami Monet, you get 50% off Flowdesk, and it's only like $200 a whole year. It's so cheap, but... I am going to probably use that, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> um, okay. Why not? <laughs> Actually, that's going to go in our show notes, and I'm making a note of it right now. Make a note. Oh, we're so good at... Guys, we're trying notes. to be better about this. We say all the time we're going to add it to the show notes, and we don't do it, so this is going to happen from It's now my on. fault. It's my fault, but it's okay. Why is um, it your fault? Because oh, I'm the, supposed to be the blogger person, and I suck at it. <laughs> 
God. This is why we're hiring somebody, everybody. <laughs> uh, okay, so back to um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and other sale weekends. These kind of sneak under the radar, but they're also good days to do sales. Um, so other days to be aware of is um, Green Monday, which is the last Monday before Christmas. And typically that's the shipping cutoff for first class packages. So this is kind of like you could be like your last hurrah to get your order in for first class shipping or whatever. So maybe do a free shipping on Green Monday. Um, and then there's also free shipping day, which this year is on December 14th, which is my 30th birthday. What, what? <laughs> So I'm definitely going to be participating in that. And I cannot remember where I read this, but I was reading some other shop owner was talking about there's like freeshippingday.com. And it's literally where they list like all the different sales of free shipping codes that are going on. She said her site traffic blew up from just like being a part of the freeshippingday.com. So um, I looked at the website and there's like a way to apply to be a part of it. It um, doesn't look like they're open to like be a main, like to accept those applications, but I'm going to definitely look into possibly doing that this year. Ooh, it sounds cool. pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. And then there's Super Saturday, which is the last Saturday before Christmas. Obviously, it's probably more in-person shopping, but there's tons of one-day sales. So if you had something that you could like digital downloads or something, this would be a great um, time to promote that on super saturday the last saturday before christmas so yay yay i love all of those i mean i had no idea that those dates were even a thing so cool yeah but now etsy's trying to turn free shipping day into year-round shipping <laughs> year-round year-round free shipping, year round free shipping. <laughs> that's I know. another tangent <laughs> <laughs> yes um so we move on to number eight would you like to yeah, start you off go number for eight? it <laughs> you can do it <laughs> Okay. Um, number eight is to prep your sales strategy. So we've already kind of talked about the different days and like things you can do. So like what types of sales can you even offer? Um, free shipping is always a great one to do. Um, either just a flat free shipping or maybe it's free shipping over 50 bucks or something like that. It's a great way to increase your order value per customer is doing free shipping over a certain threshold. Um, percentage off. And there's... Um, a rule of one, I think it's the rule of 100. Like items that are under 100, you sell more with a percentage off discount. So if it's like $100, you'd be like 25% off. But if it's over $100, doing a like a amount off, like if this product's $200, we're going to give you $50 off. It sounds like more money off. So if you're doing less than 100, use the percentage. More than 100, use the amount. Does that make okay. sense? Okay. Yeah. So I guess we're going to be using the amount for our stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it's like a <laughs> pin, psychological pin, wig, thing. Wig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll be doing the amount off. So something to think about, that rule of 100. Um, gift with purchase. Maybe if they you know, purchase two mugs, they get a free matching art print or you know, whatnot, or a free ornament. Um, with free ornament for like the first 50 people who order on Black Friday. I don't know. You, you can have fun with it and make it, Make it your own. Um, maybe doing holiday only products that are only available at that time. You know, you're only doing 50 of these certain things. And of course, BOGOs. Who doesn't love freaking buy one, get one? It's like the best. <laughs> it <laughs> so, is. Yeah. I know Rifle Paper Co. always does. They're like buy five cards, get five free. And I think that's such a good one because it's essentially a BOGO, but with um, a higher purchase amount. So that's a great ah. one to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's super clever. I love it. Yes. And then another one that is great is bundling. This is such a great way during the holiday season to one, like show your customers how your products work together and already take the legwork out of them out of it for them so they don't have to come up with like a gift basket idea. So maybe you like bundle, like I could do a mug, a tea towel, the the little greeting card set and gift tags all as a little bundle. And then you're increasing your order value per customer and taking out, you know, any stress of them having to like pick and choose. Yeah, that's really cute. Have you done that yet before with yours? I know no. that you've done like greeting <laughs> card sets, but how would that be handled from a drop shipping perspective? Oh, see, that's that's why I haven't done it because all my stuff is like drop shipped. So like if they order stuff together anyway, which most of the time they do, I'd have to split it up into two orders so they'll get two shipping notifications. Right, right. That would so be it okay. Would come so, yeah, as oh, a bundle. So, 
Just yeah. to clarify, like you haven't used that method for that reason, but it could work really well for people who maybe stock everything in house. Yeah, I haven't used that method because I always run out of time. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I think doing like the art print with like the little card and the gift tags, like I can bundle those because they're not drop shipped, you know, would be really cute. Um, right. Or like or I've done order the tea towels like you were telling me about mm-hmm. and have them in house, then yes. that would be a better option. Exactly. So like maybe it's like a three tea towel bundle and they pick three tea towels or I mean, you can I could still kind of do that with the same product category, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So just thinking of different ways to bundle items would be a, a good thing to go into. <clears throat> OK, I'm super excited for this one because using holiday traffic to your advantage, this is our number nine. So basically how to get more eyeballs on your work. And I'm excited for Cami to like impart some wisdom on this because when she was like gift guides and bloggers, I was like, ooh, what does that mean? <laughs> like, how does one go about that? So let's, uh, yeah, let's dive into that, Cami. Like okay. we had mentioned earlier, we were going to share more. And now we get to hear more and I'm so yes. excited. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so like gift guides and bloggers are kind of the hidden gem of holiday traffic. I don't feel like these work any other time of the year. I mean, maybe they might work, but holidays, it's great. Like, bloggers are looking for and and other publications too not just bloggers are looking for you know the coolest products they want to be in the know so they can have them in their gift guides they're always pulling together gift guides how many gift guides do you see how many times am i going to say gift guides the limit is that's in exist um so if you go ahead and be proactive and say like hey i saw you did a gift guide for the best stocking stuffers for her last year i have this um cute mug that i think would be a perfect fit blah, 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 and say like, oh, I'd love to send you a free one so you can take a picture with it, whatever. Or they like to take their own pictures a lot of the time. So, you know, the cost of sending a mug and getting it into their gift guide, one, you're getting all their traffic. And two, you're getting SEO backlinks back to your site, which is fantastic for SEO. Um, So that's why it's really important to have really beautiful lifestyle photos as well as great product photos. Um, I also would recommend having photos They have a white background because a lot of times for these gift guides, they like to put together like a, almost like a collage of different products. You know, you've Mm -hmm. seen those, like the polyboard things. For sure. Um, So that, that's really great. I mean, literally with gift guides, I I just type in like gift guides for artists or gift guide for, you know, kitchen enthusiasts for like my herb prints, you know, just kind of going down the rabbit hole. And literally you're just looking at past gift guides, seeing if that blog or that publication is still updating those and then just reaching out to them. A lot of times they'll even have a submission form where you can just go ahead and submit your product. Um, and that's been like really helpful for me. I'd love to expand, expand on that more this year, hopefully with someone helping me, which I'm going to talk about some other time. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, now. Um, and yeah, so like there's just like an, another way of getting way more eyeballs on your shop. And a lot of times um, around around this time of year, you start to see in Facebook groups too, people are like, hey, I'm putting together a gift guide for creative entrepreneurs. Do you have something that fits? And then, you know, you just kind of like make connections from there. So just keeping your eyes and ears open for these opportunities to get your product in the right, the right hands and the right eyeballs basically is going to be super beneficial to getting extra traffic. Yeah. Um, absolutely agree. And that's really clever. Yeah, that's a clever way to like approach it and think about it. So Cami, when do bloggers and gift guard guides start collecting that type of stuff? Like literally when- like right now, which is October. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because this episode is going to go, I think it's actually going live next week because it's oh, our yeah. very first so one of like round 10. So this will be live October 22nd. So yeah, <laughs> get yeah. on that ASAP. <laughs> and bloggers are always a little bit last minute too so like you can still kind of write like get that last minute um traffic but you just also want to be able to make sure they're publishing the blog or whatever the gift guide before your holiday shipping cutoff um so they're not just like publishing it like december 24th like last minute gifts you probably don't want to be a part of that kind of gift guide um i also sometimes i'll do like a specific discount code just for that blogger or that gift guide and then you can um also measure like the amount of roi you get back Okay. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Cause some it's been like zero sales or maybe they just didn't use the actual, um, coupon I gave them and some it's been like really great. So just kind of like putting it out there and seeing what happens, but yeah. Yeah. I love it. And our last one, which is, oh wait, I'm not, I'm not done with this one. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, is that only the gift guides and bloggers section? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, continue. Okay. I'm so okay. sorry. So continuing on getting more um, eyeballs through using that holiday traffic for your advantage. Holiday hashtags are huge. Um, so you can just Google like holiday hashtags and find huge long lists. Um, so like Black Friday savings, hashtag Black Friday finds, hashtag Christmas deals, Christmas, hashtag Christmas gifts for her, um, Boxing Day sales, like other holidays you might not necessarily think of. Or, I mean, just start using these hashtags, you guys. It's a great way to like, people are looking for gifts. Like this is the time <laughs> to use these types of hashtags, like the salesy ones. Don't be afraid of it. Um, and then along with those same kind of hashtags, changing your Etsy tags and your title tags to things like stocking stuffer, gift for her, you know, foodie gift, um, artist gift, things like that. Refreshing your old listings will definitely help for the Etsy traffic. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it definitely pays off in the end. Yeah. But all of the hashtags, like including them in the posts. Yeah. Um, well, you can use yeah. something like Planoli too. Like if you just make a mm-hmm. group of them, then you copy and paste. Exactly. Um, the more that's not as much of a pain as it is with changing the tags on all your Etsy listings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, having those, but yeah, if you made the Planoli like little hashtag block, that would be perfect. It's a great idea. Keep it easy. <laughs> Continue onward and forward. I'm not going to like slow your mojo. You've got it. <laughs> um, and then I like to send Christmas cards, but that's kind of like a slow burn ROI for like people sharing them and getting, you know, tagged and stuff. But that's more like kind of planting the seeds for the next year. But you don't have to send Christmas cards. I just like to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not a bad idea to maybe try to send yeah. Christmas cards to like your clients or people who yeah. bought from you. I could see how that'd be a really good ROI. Because exactly. I know in the past, you've kind of asked like anyone on Instagram, like, is anyone interested in getting one from me? Which- yes, I send out a lot of Christmas cards yeah. and I love it. <laughs> But also, if they're like a fellow creative, like you're right, there's not going to be ROI there. That person's going to create their own stuff. Yeah, it was, it is really fun though because I like love Christmas cards. You guys, I literally love getting them. I love sending them. I, I sent so many last year, but I got so many back, and it was so fun for me. <laughs> like I'm totally doing that again this year. We should do like a Christmas card thing with um, the A to Z directory. Ooh, that's out. not you a know? bad idea. Yeah, what you think like some Christmassy? Oh my gosh, I love the holidays. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, and then did you send Christmas cards last year? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I'm almost positive that I did. I don't know why I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I did like variable printing. Oh yeah, and... I think you had like that snowy picture. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, that was oh, the one gosh. from last year. That one was so cute. My friend Carrie Joy took that photo. Yes. And I love the one that you first sent me when we first kind of became friends. And it was you guys with the cats. And I was like, and it was like a little recap of your year. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was like literally like Will and I's first year of marriage, I think. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think I did them the very, very first fall. Yeah. Because that was when we would have just moved to Georgia. But I did do a Christmas card for 2016. And that's what that would have been. Yep. I had the cute yeah. little recap. and. Well, it was yeah. just Zuko at that time. It wasn't oh, Azula. Yeah. Azula wasn't in there. It was just, but in yeah. my mind, she is kind of there, which is funny. In my <laughs> mind, she's in there, too. Like, I can picture her in there. So we can Photoshop her in. No problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, okay. So then our final point would be to prepare for the Grinches. <laughs> so oh, man. There's always some, well, you know, they're not too, there's always like one Grinch, you know, and a couple people just asking like, where's my stuff? But always just like one person who can be kind of rude about it. So just, um, this would be a good time before the madness hits is to just revisit your return policy, make sure you have one and just like, no, you know, can people return stuff after 30 days or five days? What is your return policy? Because people will ask um, and then have those canned emails ready to go for things that don't get there in time. The package is missing in the mail. You're not going to, it's not going to get there before Christmas and little Johnny's Christmas is ruined because your art print <laughs> didn't get there. <laughs> uh, so just have those emails ready to go um, and write them now when you're not all emotional about it. And it's going to make your life so much easier. <laughs> Yeah, what do you do for your return policy, Cami? Is it like two weeks or do you mine abide is, by that 30-day thing? Mine is five days within receiving it. 
I yeah, believe. honestly, I think the shorter the better. Like yes. we're not like I can understand for companies like oh well Nordstrom has a never ending return policy, <laughs> yeah, <Nordstrom's laughs> and they can manage the that because they're a huge company. But for us with like the one woman show, like you're right, there needs to be that time frame to say I'm so sorry. Like this is oh no I, I just eligible. went and looked at mine because I wasn't even sure, and it says you have to contact me within 48 hours of delivery so I can like handle on a case-by-case basis and custom orders are (laughs) non-refundable there you go voila voila i actually have something great i'm so proud of myself (laughs) Uh, (laughs) 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 Um, it's so funny when i get people wanting to return stuff i just like think it's hilarious to me i don't know (laughs) yeah and i mean well it makes sense to me if it's like coming through your etsy shop because i think people lose but it's not the personal element oh that it's coming through other stuff well that's what i was gonna say it makes sense through the etsy shop but if yeah. it's coming back through like your normal shop is that happening um yeah i've had i had um just two i had one person just be like oh i just want to send this back and she was so nice and i was like all right and she paid for the return shipping i was like it was only like a 16 dollar print and you paid like five dollars to ship it back to me so i don't know <laughs> like what the heck weird I know. It was really funny. And one girl sent something back because I had sent her the wrong wrong print and I didn't realize it. And she's like, oh, I'm just going to send it back. And so then I refunded her the whole order and sent her a new one because I messed up. Yeah, so, that's probably She didn't right even realize. Do that, she was like, she's like, oh, I thought that Al had a Christmas thing on it. Uh, she's like, I must, can I send this one back? And I was like, sure. And then I went back to look at her order and she ordered the um, I'll be home for Christmas. And I sent her the regular Al and I was like, I'm an idiot. So I like sent Aww. her a bunch of Al stuff. <laughs> I, well, so I remember stupid. that I got um like a, a tea towel from you when I ordered and this I don't even think it was your fault right that it was uh, like it's a tea towel then it's not I had like a duplicated thing that I wasn't I needed one of the other kind or something you had to like re-push the order through for me I felt so bad it's I, I feel so bad when it's like a friend too and I'm like oh I was like I was supposed to get this I know it's not your fault but <laughs> I really don't mind like I I don't mind making things right I mean I'm I'm a human I mess up and like my production team <laughs> is human too. Like, there's, I would rather it just be right than them be like, this person's so stupid and not say anything. Right. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like we crushed this episode and, well, mainly you crushed it because you gave some really good insight for people. And now I'm like, oh, well, if I do products during the holiday next year, maybe we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I could try to get some sort of plan in place and, feel confident about it okay if i know anything about you is that you're gonna have a freaking plan in place okay <laughs> like you don't have to worry you're gonna be fine Heck, yes i will yeah, i'm not believe it worried about that at all <laughs> like <laughs> so don't even worry about it um oh yeah and final point really is to take some time for yourself sis and relax and enjoy the holidays with your family because like you deserve a break too so i think yeah. you will forget that <laughs> I know and they get so caught up in it and honestly I think it was like the first fall of my business when I I tried to do a whole bunch of Christmas stuff and like custom orders and this and that and it made me so tired (laughs) that I could not (laughs) and basically my falls now like the past couple years of business have just ended up being a lot more chill like I focused more on like our biz birthday bash stuff and like this year's the station or summit and now I have time to like breathe before January um which might not always be that way but yeah it's yeah nice take to, like, time for yourself take time for yourself to you know make cookies and decorate your tree and burn the winter candle from Bath and Body Works because it is the scent of heaven and yeah it's just all good times Remember how every year I'm always like, I'm going to take December off, and then I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Never happens. Yeah. I know. I know. Well, to say, okay. since you do Christmas in Florida, you can do a little bit more of last minute stuff if you have to. Whereas yeah. for me, it's like I'm always traveling during that like week leading up to Christmas and that week of Christmas. And I'm like, yeah, no, like nothing is happening right now because I'm not home to he- to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we used, we always go up to Tennessee for Thanksgiving. So I'm always traveling for like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, which is always very hectic for someone who waits <laughs> to the last minute to do those things. And I just remember I'm always using like Alex's phone data to like be on the, my computer the whole time up there to like get all my stuff. 
<laughs> like one year, I literally was switching all my products over to a website. Um, so I would have like something to write Black Friday email to go to. <laughs> like, it was a mess, but <laughs> it, it worked. So, you know, what? here we are. <laughs> oh, um, good times. All of the lessons and things we learn. And I I, so you're going back to Tennessee again in November. Oh, uh, no, actually, we're not we're not going this year. We're, we're doing Thanksgiving and Christmas here this year. But my parents okay, are coming Okay, I was going to say, because you were just in Tennessee for a week. So I was like, oh, yeah. that's like really quick to just literally go back again. I, that's what we thought, too. We're like, ah, oh, it's too much. So, um, so yeah, we're going to be down here. So maybe I will have like a little bit more chill of a Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend situation. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that'll be kind of nice. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I freaking love the holidays, you guys. It's like not only just for my shop, but like in general, it just makes me so happy. And it's so fun. I love packaging up the orders. I'm just get so excited. I know you do love packaging in general. I it's do. really cute, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm like a little pack rat in there with all my stuff. Um, all my stuff, but, um, like my the little stuff. mice from Cinderella, just doing all the holiday packing. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> all oh. right. Ah, uh, well, hopefully we didn't overwhelm you guys with my rambling f- for like an hour. Um, well yeah if you were overwhelmed i would say just like pick three of those things to focus on like you don't have to do all of them yeah i just threw a lot i threw a lot of everybody (laughs) (laughs) but anyway um if you guys have any questions you can of course submit them to our q and cake which is um, bizbirthdaybash.com slash q and cake and you can submit a question there and we will answer it on air in our q and cake episodes we love doing those and then, of course, leave us a rating and review on iTunes because it's almost Christmas and we want you to get into the holiday spirit and leave us a review. <laughs> Share the Christmas love with us. And actually, Cami, I think we should end the episode by reading a review. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Why don't you go pick one? Yeah. Well, actually, we just had one come in like last Thursday. So I'm going to read this one because it's recent and it's really sweet. Oh, okay. um, and it's just been a while since we've read one. And we always say that we'll read them and then we like blaze through our content. I know. Them. But <laughs> all right. So uh, uh, Alyssa May, she wrote, so glad I found this podcast five stars. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, Cami and Elizabeth do such a great job at giving real advice that can be applied to your creative business, and they make the scary business stuff seem, well, less scary. I'm very new to this creative business world and haven't quite figured out which direction to take my passion, but I'm so thankful to have found the supportive community to follow along the way. Thank you so much for all the free content you girls work so hard on in this <laughs> podcast. Oh, that was yeah. the best. I'm just filled with the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. We yes, thank love you. reading all the sweet things that you guys leave for us and makes us very happy. Yes. And it's almost been a freaking year of content, you guys. That's what's so nuts. Oh, my <laughs> Atlanta. Oh my gosh. It's very exciting. I feel like we're just getting started. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. It's hey, so remember, good. Cammie, that one time we thought we were going to do bi weekly episodes? Yeah. What a stupid idea. <laughs> we literally announced that in like the first, like it was like the seven minute introductory episode or whatever. And it was like, and we're going to be doing our episodes bi weekly. And I was like, oh, child's play please like i can't even believe that that was like our intention at first yeah but like every two weeks come on i just remember recording our first episode i was like just don't sound weird i was like hello i'm cami and now i'm like ah so <laughs> lots of change just feel like you guys love it. See the real me and it's just so fun they're here for the crazy. They 100% are, or otherwise they would not be listening anymore. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. Now we're just rambling. We're just- now we're just rambling. So we will leave you guys with that and feel free to please add a review if you also want to say nice things to us. <laughs> yes. All right. And we'll see you on the shelf, Christmas elf. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, Elizabeth here. Just wanted to hop in and talk about one of Cami and I's amazing resources called the A to Z directory. I know that all of us have thought at some point, how did she do that? Or how did she make that? And maybe you just don't know where to start and how the heck to produce the product that you've dreamt up. 
while the A to Z directory is the missing puzzle piece in your biz, and it is actually a yearly membership that is a one-stop shop to every supplier you need to create anything from wedding invitations to coasters, mugs, napkins, greeting cards, and more. And we even have resources for drop shippers, where to produce a bunch of different things. And essentially, we just want to help you guys search less and create more. This resource is a really great deal at $147 per year. It also includes access to our private Facebook group where you can ask any questions you have and get the answers you need at the drop of a hat, which is awesome. It's a really great community over there. So head over to bizbirthdaybash.com directory to get more information and to sign up today.